Welcome, and today we're going to do a quick video on making a small three inch trinket plate dish. Um, we're going to apply a variety of frits and lines to make a rainbow, place the clear over top of it, fire it, melt it all together, and then slump it into a slumping mold. So, first, we're going to Place our glass and set this aside. We're actually going to use this piece to kind of push the frit up into the line to kind of equally distance our lines out. And you can do it by eyeball or you can get a ruler and lay a ruler down and try to um, figure out what distance each line needs to be. I have seven different frits, so that's a little more than a centimeter per line. Um, I'm just going to eyeball it. Um, when I get to the middle, I should be on the fourth one. So the fourth one should be right in the middle. So that'll help me eyeball it. And if I don't like the way it looks, I can start over. Not a big deal. So we're going to grab our first frit and just lay a line down. I'm just going to use my finger to tap the little spoon. Get the frit on the glass. Just kind of spread it out evenly. Nothing major, just a, a quick line. If you want to mash it down with your finger to get it even or a spot. This here on the edge is kind of tricky because it wants to fall off. So it's okay if it's not exact and doesn't totally cover it. Um, it's, it's just a rainbow. It's kind of a, a quick fun project. So I just use this piece of glass and just kind of like a shovel and just push up against and get it about the width I think it needs to be. Get my next color, the orange, and just do the same thing, just lay it down. The next color is going a little bit easier I would say. Sometimes I'll mesh it down just to make sure it's spread out, not too lumpy or tall. And if I see some extra that I think is too much, I'll just like Pick it this way and then push this way and yeah, this works really well. Gives me a kind of a straight line. Eventually when it melts it's just going to kind of melt into not exactly a straight line which is okay but this allows me to um, get it on the glass so we can um, get everything put together and get it ready to fire. So let's get our sunflower yellow. Lay it down. That looks good. Save. I'll just push up a little bit. Get our spring green. It's okay if it's not touching the yellow or the next color. When we push it up, it's gonna like push right into it. So main thing is just to get it on the glass and then we'll play with it from there. See how that just goes right in there. I can use the glass to kind of just mash it flat, just real easy. And then continue. So let's get our darker green, our jade green. And you can use Kelly green. I, I chose two different greens because I had a, a good contrast between a darker and, a, and I wanted seven lines to kind of get the width that I was looking for. So I just went with a, two different greens rather than another two different blues or something like that. The green, there's so many shades of green that uh, I like these. These are the ones that I actually had on hand. So I decided just to go with two shades of green in our rainbow. So Sometimes the glass is wavy and this method of trying to rake off doesn't work or it doesn't get a piece. So you can just use a little brush if you want just to clean it up. So let's get our cobalt blue. Lay it in there. 
nice and easy. Like I say, nothing major here. This is a real easy project. Push that in there. On this edge, I don't have a lot of room, so I'm just going to use this brush to arrange this a little bit and get these little extra blue pieces off. And it's okay if they mix together a little bit. Makes, makes it a little more fun sometimes. So let's lay our purple, our last line of purple. We're on the edge again here, so sometimes it, it falls off and doesn't want to play nice. But we'll kind of just, not too hard, just a little light tapping. I use my finger, it would be fine. And then there's some pieces that'll fall off. Once you put everything together, some of these pieces will fall off, which is totally fine. And I usually use my finger, just kind of push them up back over the edge, just so they're not falling everywhere. And there you go. So I'll lift this up so you can see it a little bit better. As you notice, not all the lines are, are equally the same width, which is okay. Um, like I said, it's just a fun little project. And then we just place our clear right over the top. And mash down just a touch, not too much. You don't want to have pieces flying everywhere. I just make sure it's like sitting very well. And I'll just take this off to the side and I'll, we'll put it in the kiln on um, the kiln paper and let it melt all together. Let it cool down, then we'll bring it back and look at it and then we'll place it on the slumping mold and let it slump into the shape that we're looking for. And I'll show you the mold real quick. Here's the slumping mold. It's about the same size. I try to cut the glass where it comes right up to the edge of this mold. It's going to give you a little arcing shape. So that's it. So we'll fire this first, take a look at it, and then we'll fire it again in, in the slumping mold. And then we'll be done. Okay, we're back. I've got my rainbow square three-inch plate out of the kiln. There's a couple of small bubbles in there, but nothing major to worry about. That's going to happen when you have frit in between two layers of glass. I think it'll look just fine once we slump it. The next step is we're going to take this into this slumpy mold. It's a bullseye 8998. There's the bottom. And we're going to place it on there and just slump it. And that'll be our finished product. I actually made two of these at the same time when we when we did this. I made two of them, so we'll do both of them at the same time. So we'll be back and show you the result. Okay, let's check out the kiln and see how it turned out. Looks pretty good. We'll take it out and take a closer look at it. Okay, we have the rainbow pattern trinket dish completed from the kiln. We'll take it out of the mold. Take a look at it. The back has this little flat spot you can kind of see. So it'll kind of sit without rocking. It's got the curved shape. And here's a closer look at the frit and how it did. I'll show you the edge. Smoothed out really nicely. And if any frit was to come out during the firing, it'll just either melt right to everything or just fall out. So I didn't have any issues with it. Um, once you get it in there, it works pretty good. So there you go. Final product.